Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is, um, what day is it? Um, today is Wednesday, January the 20th of 2016. And tonight, um, we're going to be talking about Earthworm Jim for Windows 95. Uh, a game I have, um, demonstrated, um, many, many, many times here on this channel, for those who don't know, um, this is what I consider to be the greatest computer game I've ever played in my life. Um, this is the PC Windows 95 port of it that came out in 1995. And I and my dad bought it at Sam's Club in the spring in late in in spring of um, of 1996, I think around May of 1996. And it instantly became my favorite game, and 20 years later, it still is my favorite game. And um, it, this game, if you um, never played it, you need to try it. It's, it's platform gaming at its finest, in my opinion. And um, you can try it on the console, like on the Super Nintendo and the Genesis. Um, it, it, those ports are good as well. In fact, those are the original ports, but... Nothing beats the, the Windows 95 um, Special Edition port um, because you get an extra level called Big Broody, which is actually my favorite level, which makes this um, version even better for me. And you get new features and CD quality audio. So, very underrated, but this is the way to go if you want to play you some Earthworm Jim. And this game runs perfectly well on three operating systems. Windows 95, Windows 98, and Windows ME. Anything other than that, um, particularly anything Windows NT based, well, you're going to run into some issues like graphical glitching and um, audio glitching, like sound effects will give out and music will give out. So, um, that kind of um, puts you in an awkward position if you have a newer computer running Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. So you're really out of luck for that. You're going to need yourself an older computer like this Packard Bell right here to play you some Earthworm Jim on. However, if you do not have an old computer like this to play Earthworm Jim on, well, about Five, about four or five months ago, I came across an interesting little website. Let's mosey on over to my main computer here, which, by the way, I built last, um, about two weeks ago, actually. Here it is right here, um, specs, um, it's got a Gigabyte B75M-D3H motherboard with, um, with uh, 12 gigabytes of RAM and an Intel Core i5-3470 running with a um, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950. Way more power than I probably need, but there you have it. And, it's, and this computer is running Windows 10, so this is one of the many operating systems that the window that the um, Earthworm Jim CD will not play properly on. But we can go to this website here, um, playoldpcgames.com. This is an article from September the 7th of 2014. It's got a little article on here. Um, it basically um, explains how to get Earthworm Jim to play on newer versions of Windows. And I have t tested this before on Windows 10, so um, I already know this works. So seeing that this runs on Windows 10 like this, I can imagine that XP, Vista 7 and 8 should um, handle this with no trouble at all either. So, um, what we're going to want to do is um, we, we need to download a zip file. Uh oh. Don't tell me they got rid of the file. Okay, let me check into this. 
okay, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I found um, a website that looks like it has the same file. It looks like we need to download a um, .dll file, which happens to be in the zip file right here. So um, I don't know if this is gonna work um, like the other file because apparently this website, the file we need to download, is no longer available to download, which um, could be a problem if this. Um, other one I just downloaded off of this this um, sketchy looking .dll um, downloader site does not work. But anyway, let's um, m move on and hope this works. Um, we downloaded the file there, and now we need to go back up here. I'm actually we're actually a little ahead of ourselves here. Um, we need to take the um, Earthworm Gym CD. Here it is right here. I'll pop it in the DVD drive on the on my main computer here. And um, we're going to need to copy all of these files to our um, hard drive. Well, SSD in this case. <laughs> so let's do a little bit of minimization. Go to this PC. And here's the, the E drive, worm. So we will open it up. What all do we need to down? We need to copy. Um, okay, let's just cr create a brand new folder on our desktop. We'll ca just call it E W J. and we'll copy all these files over to our um, main hard drive, well, SSD or whatever you want to call it. And I need to do something about this chair, it's way too squeaky. <laughs> oh, I sure hope this works. Okay, got it all copied over. Now we need to go into the assets folder and remember that um, .dll file we had to download a while ago? Well, we need to take it out of the zip file and copy it over to the folder we just created and replace what's already there with it. Well, folks, um, fingers crossed here. First of all, I need to turn my speakers on. Uh, now, um, even though we've copied all the files to the hard drive, we're still going to need the CD and the drive in order to play this properly, because if we don't do this, I don't think we'll get sound. Okay, here we go. Wait a minute, I forgot one thing. Actually. We'll have to turn the sound down there, too, but we also need to put it into compatibility mode for Windows 95. You just right click the worm.exe file, go to compatibility and select Windows 95. So, just ignore that error right there. Say, it looks like it's working. My gosh, it's working, folks! <laughs> okay, I'm not used to playing it with a keyboard. Okay, we got a whip. Doesn't help I'm holding a camera. Here, I'll put in a cheat. So we don't have to worry about dying. And we're even getting music, folks. <laughs> I'm normally a lot better at this game, but I'm holding a camera right now. And I'm not used to playing it on a keyboard. I'm used to playing this with a joystick. Oh, there we go. Took care of that. Yeah, this is working perfectly, folks. If we hadn't have um, made those little fixes, this um, the either the graphics would be glitching right now, or um, 
there wouldn't be any um, sound effects like that dog sound right there. And a lot of times you would get both. But yeah, folks, um, this works perfectly. I am very, very impressed. We can even maximize it. <laughs> it looks a little, um, yeah, it looks a little stupid on a um, big monitor like this. This is an Apple Cinema HD display that I got here. I have it hooked up to a Windows PC, so I'm um, causing the world to burn. <laughs> But yeah, it works just fine. Obviously, I still recommend playing it on an older system like this because it just mu makes much more sense. But if you don't have the luxury of doing that, just, just follow this guide here and this will work just fine. Let's see if we can go to another level. Uh, we'll do a... Uh, will just put in a cheat code here to... And I will put a link to both of, both of the sites you need to go to to get this to work. Let's go to my favorite level, Big Broody. I, I can't believe I'm playing this on Windows 10. That's right, folks. <laughs> on my knee right now, oh. which, as you can see, was not a good idea. Yeah, I highly recommend playing this game with a gamepad or a joystick. These type of games just aren't as convenient to play on a keyboard. Especially when you're trying to hold a camera in your hand. But yeah, it's unbelievable that this is working on Windows 10. Up until a few months ago, the only three operating systems I could get this to run on were Windows 95, Windows 98, and Windows ME. If it was NT based, I was completely out of luck. kill ourselves. This used to scare the crap out of me when I was a kid, but say hello to Big Broody himself. <laughs> but there you have it. Earthworm Jim, a game designed for Windows 95 that normally wouldn't run on this, is running perfectly on Windows 10. So this is Billy Kors signing off on um, January the 20th of 2015. 2016. I'm such an idiot.